plate. Yes, we're going to look at them for business, but we have to look at them for everything because what you're doing outside of that is going to affect how much you have to pour into your business. Taking that energy budget, doing it like a like an audit almost, like a self audit. And then once we have that, then we start looking at boundaries of, okay, here's what you want it to look like. You want it to be like, you have this much time for this bucket and you have this much time for this bucket and this much time business stays contained in this little bucket that you're giving it. Okay, but business is actually like overflowing right now and we can't go in this bucket, which means these other things are, don't have that much in them. So now what boundaries need to be enacted? What lines can we draw in the sand to help you? Usually this is like a tiered approach. It's not realistic and it's not very compassionate to be like, all right, boundaries across the board, done. That's going to lead to either some like serious self-sabotage or things crumbling. It's just not sustainable. So how do we baby step our way in there? So what's the first boundary that we can lay that's going to help you feel safe in this sense, in this season of transition? What is the next thing that we can lay? And so we're just, we're doing this really in small ways, little boundaries, little boundaries. And a lot of them end up being mental. Like a lot of them are mental boundaries and just like the way that we think about things. And this is where I see a lot of the anxiety come in for entrepreneurs because those are mental boundaries, like the inability to put them up for ourselves, which is hard. And this is why having a coach, even a therapist, something like, someone like that to bounce these ideas off of can be so useful because we keep hitting up against the same walls over and over again. We're like, how, 